Hello, we are at 863 Perry. So here is the listing. So that is a middle school right there and the whole road that goes down the side there is 35 miles an hour. So it's very quiet over here. Very well established. I don't see any junkers at all. Everyone seems to maintain everything. Um, the best part about this home is it's literally two miles from Ridgemar Mall and about six miles from the Fort Worth Zoo. So I was telling him about that and he didn't even notice. So here we are, we're walking in. Now this is a huge upgrade to the first one we looked at. So here's your living room. It smells like fresh coat paint. We're gonna go off from here to the left. Check out your kitchen. So unlike the last one, this one actually has a separate kitchen and it's a much bigger one. And then it looks like they have a new stove, new dishwasher, and new microwave. So tons of cabinet space compared to the last one. And it looks like you have a little bonus room in here. Maybe his man cave. <laughs> so you got washer and dryer will be in here. So it's not in the garage like the other one. Some storage up top. I don't know if you can see that. And in here. So they converted the garage. So it looks like this is going to be your pantry. So that's pretty awesome. All right. We'll head back inside. Then I'll go out here. It looks like they have a sunroom. So a little play area for little man. door is uh, requiring two hands. Hold on a second. So this sunroom requires two hands to open the door. So that might be good for little man. I heard he's opening doors. So it's heated and cooled in here. There's some storage in here as well. Still have a nice sized backyard and these are brand new low E windows. Very energy efficient with a new door. It's nice and insulated in here. So again, some more storage. This home has a lot of options. So it's got its own window unit out here. So window units actually are very energy efficient. They don't use very much electricity. It's like running your blow dryer. So it looks like fresh paint and fresh flooring. So then we come off the kitchen. Here comes a, a bedroom or a study. Then it looks like there is a hallway here. So if you look to your left, there's a bedroom. There's a bathroom and there's another bedroom. So we're gonna start back here with this bedroom. So these bedrooms are really good sized and it looks like there's no carpet here. So, nice standard closet. And you've got a coat closet and some leftover laminate. And you've got your upgraded bathroom, because I can tell you right now, this is definitely not 1960s. Tile, it's even handicapped accessible. Has a linen closet. I haven't seen the magazine rack in a while. Then we got your AC unit here and water heater. So the water heater is new. It's only a couple years old. HVAC is a uh, it's a little old, but looks like they recently did the gas lines and they redid the tubing. Insulation looks to be intact. So I'm assuming this is the master. So this is the only room with carpet. So the master goes right off to the sunroom too. I have never seen this in the history of my real estate career. A toilet to shower. That is brand new. <laughs> 
all handicapped accessible. And there's the AC unit. Now that's a good size unit and looks to be in really good shape. Looks like it's fairly new too. Insulation line's good. The windows are good here. Oh, the most important part for is that would probably be his closet. Or they may he may be in the hallway. <laughs> so that concludes this house.